Now see some places. A patriarchal blessing. An impartation. The force of blessing to propel us. You don't need a loan to get married. Do you need a loan? You know what? If all of us get married, we can now set one and do ministry. But your mind is not in it because you have not married. That's the problem. We want to do ministry. We want to take over this city. Take over Benue State. Do all kinds of things in the name of the Lord. Start companies. Yes, companies. We have big ideas. Big ideas. But we need people that are stable. Not that when we start, we say you are moving to Lagos or no. So, the proof that you are ready is that you are married. Then we can now begin to plot so many things. The things that run through my mind, there are many. But we need manpower to drive them. Hallelujah. The moment God opens a door for you, no matter how little it is that you can pay your tithe from, the next thing you should have in mind is to get married. I proposed to my wife as a classroom teacher. She's there. She saw the way I was diligent in the things of God, and she knew that my destiny will not end in the classroom. Today I'm still teaching, but not in the classroom. We are a global network now. We have professionals all around the world, doctors, nurses, engineers. And because of their commitment to what we are doing here, they want to, some of them want to buy lands, build houses, want to start companies and all of that. But if you are not married, it means it's a challenge. So get married, get married. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I got married late at 31. That means by the time I'm 50, Joshua, how, how old is he going to be? That's not, that's not okay. I was thinking I'll play ball with him, but at what ball are you playing by 50? At 50. So trust God for it. Make it, it's a serious case. It's something you should pray about every day, pray about every night. It's something you should focus on. Once you get it there, your life just begins to, to take a flight. But if you miss it there, you have seen people with, that missed it. You, it's like a cause. There's no cause more bitter. No cause more bitter. You know, I've, I've been pastoring for a, a short while and I, I've seen uh, my pastor colleagues that are in wrong marriages. Is hell. You will like outside your house more than inside. The Lord will deliver you from it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, look upon your people with mercy and cause your face to shine on them. In this area of marriage, let no one miss it. Amen. Do a quick work. Do a great work. Glorify yourself in the name of Jesus. You are blessed.